Students' English language scores, including reading, are still well below pre-pandemic levels in Pennsylvania. John Delano has a look at the latest results from standardized testing done last spring. Every spring, students in grades 3 through 8 take their PSSA tests in school. It's the Pennsylvania system of state assessments to measure student proficiency in English, including reading, as well as math. And this year's scores in English declined for the second year in a row. Take third graders. Only just over half, 52%, were proficient at their grade level, compared to nearly 62% in 2019 before the pandemic. In every grade, fewer students today are at grade level in English compared to three years ago. It's not acceptable to have scores like that. Point Park University professor Linda Hippert, a former South Fayette and Fox Chapel school superintendent, says it's unacceptable but understandable given the disruption suffered by young children during the pandemic. Many of them uh, were traumatized by what occurred. They missed out on a lot of learning. And I know in talking with elementary school principals, when students came back to school at those early grade levels, uh, they were reteaching them actually how to uh, behave in a classroom. Educators hoped 2022 scores would be better than 2021 but that was only true for seventh and eighth graders. Math scores did improve, but still lag. Dr. Bob Shearer, head of the Allegheny Intermediate Unit that represents many local school districts, is optimistic, but notes we're still a ways from 100% proficiency. We're hopeful that we can get back to pre-pandemic levels here in 2023. But we also know that those levels weren't where we wanted them to be prior to the pandemic. While these scores are disheartening, there is an ongoing debate about the value of standardized tests. During the recent campaign, Governor-elect Shapiro said he wanted to end, quote, reliance on standardized tests. I'll have more on what that could mean, new at six. John Delano, KDKA News.